What's up, YouTube? Biz Matthew here once again with another video. And I'm in a kind of different setting, just working right now on my laptop, on my Shopify business. And I just wanted to um, talk to you all about how to get consistent sales with your Shopify account. Now, before we go on, be sure to subscribe, comment down below as we grow this channel together. Uh, now, I have to be honest with you all. I made a plan to upload videos every single day uh, for at least one month. And it has technically been one month, 28 days, which is four weeks. But I prom promised myself to be at least 31 days. And so that's today will be number 29, Saturday 30, and Sunday 31. And then I start posting probably twice or, or three times a week. Now, um, how do you get consistent sales with your Shopify store? You know, I've been uh, over the summer and last month, well, yeah, that's still the summer. So over the past summer, I actually been struggling with uh, making profit for my business. And um, I know it comes with the seasonality of e-commerce. It does go down during the summer. Um, but lately, I've been finding ways to get consistent, profitable sales. And I just want to share that with you all. So... Um, when I recently found a winning design for my print on demand business, a t-shirt. Um, and as you all know, most of my business is print on demand and I do a little bit of drop shipping. It used to be mostly drop shipping. Then I converted all to print on demand. And now I'm just, now I'm still going back to drop shipping because honestly, you all, the cost of goods is just so much cheaper, um, than print on demand. Like right now, I'm I'm selling a hoodie that's costing me $14 uh for around $40, right? And plus I add shipping which is around 6-7. Um but marketing I'm probably averaging 12 to 13. dollars So I'm probably making you know 14 24 26 minus 45. So I'm probably making like 20 bucks per you know, trans you know, transaction for that hoodie. Um, but how did I get there? How did I uh, finally find that winning product? And how was I able to consistently do that? So I found a winning design for my print on demand business. It was just a regular t-shirt and it's been doing well. I'm still selling it well. Um, and then what I did, I just used that same design and I just put it on a hoodie. Um, and actually there was an exact replica of that on AliExpress and it was doing extremely well on AliExpress with sales. And so I decided just to drop ship it because honestly a hoodie like that using custom cat or printful or printify, it will cost you probably like $25, $30 uh, just for the cost of the product. And so I couldn't really work with that and still have a marketing budget. And so I decided to drop ship it. And you know, last year, I did make a mistake by drop shipping too much items and my my the goods were just shipping way too late and so and I didn't really tell customers hey I I had a shipping section but not on the product page I never told them about the shipping time so now I'm I'm just a hundred percent transparent I put in bold letters hey this is going to take three to five weeks to ship you know be careful order the right size I'm telling you all this right right up front and so uh, getting consistent sales is basically uh, getting a product so like a t-shirt and putting it on a hoodie putting it on a v-neck because I noticed a lot of my t-shirts my customers like but say they say hey prefer a v-neck you know especially a lot of women they prefer v-necks and then uh, after that um, you know, you can put it on a hat, you can put it on custom made jewelry, you can do a lot of different things with it uh, to grow your business. And that can end up being like your logo, like your your main thing, your main sign. And so I've been really doing that. Uh, right now I have it on a t-shirt, a regular crew neck t-shirt and on a hoodie. And the hoodie is different. It's not like your regular hoodie. It's like a hoodie with a zipper, you know, those little those type of hoodies and so next time I want to put it on a v-neck see how that works see how that sells and then I'll put it on a hat make some custom jewelry with it and yeah and go from there um, 
yeah and i hope you all enjoyed this video and this different format me just talking with you all you know and telling you how my business is so it can affect your business in ways that you can implement what i've been learning into your shopify business uh, now i hope you all enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and comment down below peace